These are the 12 most expensive violins of all time. The Titanic Violin In 2006, this damaged violin was discovered in an attic in Britain. After two years of in-depth trace analysis, it was revealed that this was the instrument used by Hartley, who played nearer, my God, to the classical violin music during the Titanic's last moments. The Lady Tenant it is an antique violin made by the Italian luthier Antonio Stradivari of Cremona in 1699, one year before the beginning of his so-called golden period. On April 22, 2005, the Lady Tenant sold for a record US dollars at Christie's auction in New York. The Hammer Stradivarius It was named after Christian Hammer, a 19th century Swedish collector who was one of the first recorded owners of this violin. On May 16, 2006, the hammer made news when it was sold at Christie's auction to an anonymous bidder for 3.54 million US dollars, with a pre-auction estimated value of 1.5 million US dollars to 2.5 million. Antonius Stradivarius Cremonensis Thought to have been owned by Napoleon Bonaparte, the violin belonged to 19th-century Parisian socialite and arts patron Juliette Recamier. Until 1804, when it came into the possession of a general in Napoleon's army, Count Gabriel Jean Joseph Molitor. It bears the label Antonia Stradivarius Cremonensis, Fechabat Anno 1697 and is branded to the lower rib, Curtis Fila. Il Canoni Guarnarius the violin received its name from a former owner, the Italian violin virtuoso Nicola Paganini (1782–1840), because of its power and resonance. The violin got its name Canoni, or its variants, Il Canoni del Gesù, Canoni, or Canon, from Paganini because of its power and resonance. The Lord Wilton. The Wilton was crafted in 1742 in the city of Cremona. It was owned and played by the celebrated violinist Yehudi Menuhin from 1978 to 1999. After Menuhin died in 1999, it was sold for $6 million three, to a well-known collector David L. Fulton. It is the highest price paid for a violin to that date. Mary Portman Garneri Violin The Mary Portman Garneri Violin gets its name from a lady who lived in London the Honorable Mary Isabel Portman, the builder of the Kransbach Castle. Ex Kahansky Garneri The Kahansky del Jesu has been a faithful companion of Aaron Rosen for nearly 40 years. It has magnificent deep red varnish and is in a wonderful state of preservation. Caritas Garneri The Caritas Garneri is one of the finest violins made by the famous violin maker Garneri. An interesting fact about the Caritas is that it was crafted from the same tree as another Guarnerius violin, the second Canoni. The Lady Blunt. The violin is named after its first known owner Lady Anne Blunt, daughter of Ada Lovelace, granddaughter of Lord Byron. The Lady Blunt is one of the two best preserved Stradivarius violins in existence. Like the Messiah Stradivarius of 1716, it has survived in near original conditions since it has resided mostly in the hands of collectors and seen little use. The Vuitton Garneri This Garneri del Jesu instrument gained its name after being owned by the Belgian 19th century violinist Henri Vuitton. The instrument was later used by Yehudi Menuhin, Itzhak Perlman, and Pinhas Zuckerman. It recently became the most expensive violin in the world, selling for an estimated $16 million. Its new owner anonymously donated the historic instrument to violinist Anakako Myers, on loan for the rest of her life. The Messiah Stradivarius It is considered the only Stradivarius in existence in a new state. It is in the collection of the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford, England. Much of the high value and prestige is because it was crafted during Stradivari's golden period and has not been played for almost 300 years.